Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, I welcome you. If you have been here before and you have already subscribed, I thank you so much for your support. This is the sorrel that I used to make my sorrel drink. And I also have my pieces of ginger in it. I left the ginger in it. And I also left some back in the pot with the sorrel liquid. And I also have somewhere here, I have my orange peel as well. I didn't remove it. So before I start, I have to make my sorrel jam. Sorrel is very acid. And this is the reason why I'm only using the pulp and not the liquid. Sorrel is very, very acid. And I have to find a way to break the acidity of the sorrel to use in my cakes. So I have since washed these out and now I am going to add some very hot water to this and allow it to soak for about two hours. This is to try and get most of the acid out of the soil before I add the other flavors to this. This is gonna be very, very flavorful. It has been two hours. I'm gonna taste this piece. I see the out of the pulp is already gone. I'm gonna drain this off and come back and show you how to prepare it. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give this one last rinse. Can see so I got all the acid out of the soil and now I'm gonna add back flavor instead of acid there's a very very strong smell of orange in this which is very very good so I'm not gonna add any more zested orange to this so I'm adding it back to the pot I took out all of the cloves and I added it back to the soil. To this I'm going to add 3 quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, quarter teaspoon of allspice, quarter teaspoon of clove, powder, half cup of brown sugar, And I'm going to add half cup of sour concentrate for color and that extra added flavor. One cup instead. So basically this is going to be a jam. I'm going to be using this also to make my sour fruit cake and my sorrel sponge cake. Sponge cake. Bring this to a boil. I'm gonna cook this at low to medium. My foods have been here for about 10 minutes. Please don't forget to check out my other videos and you can see where I started with the sorrel. If you have gotten this far into the video, please subscribe to the channel. I'm now gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna move on to the next step. One to a hundred in terms of the acidity. I find it to be about seven or eight, but I want it to go down a little bit more. So I'm gonna add another half cup of brown sugar. So overall it's one and a half cups. I have since allowed this to cool and we are almost there. I could eat these, I've just been nibbling on them, because they are very very sweet. They are not overly sweet, but they are sweet enough as you will to preserve fruits. In here I have my pieces of ginger and the orange peels. So I have a piece of orange peel. So the orange peel have since been candied. 
but I am going to remove pieces of the ginger and leave some inside of it but not before adding it to my it and puree the ginger as fine as I could with some of the liquid and then I'm going to food process all of this in my food processor so that it has a nice coarse texture the idea of this is to extract the tanginess of it and add back the natural flavors of the sorrel if you were to add just natural sorrel or blend it or puree it or any other way except for first removing the acid you're still going to end up with a very tangy cake so the ginger and the orange peels have been pureed and i'm going to add it back to this then i'm going to add it to my food processor okay, so this is now done and if you are going to add alcohol to your food cake you can make the food cake with only the sorrel you don't have to add any fruits but if you are not adding any fruits you can put your alcohol in this and allow it to sit in the refrigerator as you would do normal fruits. 